So anyway, what would you guys do if you won a lottery? And I'm not talking about just any lottery. I'm talking about $50 million. What would you guys do if you won that much money, right? You could just leave a comment right now because I'm just really curious about like what you guys would do. Like, because for me, I just heard that if you get the lottery ticket, you don't put your name and you won. You don't put your name on lottery ticket because if you got taxes in your state, um, I, I heard some taxes can go up to like 50%. And they can take just half your winning. So I heard that if you get some type of lawyer, right, he has to be a really, really good one. But he can take half your money and, no, not half your money. He can take your money and put it in a, um, some type of trust or something like that. And then so therefore you can just completely get rid of or legally evade taxes or something like that. Right? Whatever rich you do. That's a pretty big one. Um, Listen, what I would do is this, right? I'll open up my own store. I'll open up my own restaurant. Right? As you guys are like, well, most restaurants fail. I don't know. If this one fell, it fails. But what I would do is like just like just basic, like make it so that it's a drive through. Because what I notice is that I hate going inside stores. Period. I get super stressed out when I gotta go inside stores. Um, yeah. So what I would do is that I would just completely have it a drive through. Um, nobody's ever going to go inside the store, so that's going to be unique. Actually, I got a few revolutionary ideas um, about how it's going to go. I forgot the most first thing. Pay off the bills. Pay off my bills, pay off my dad's bills, whatever. Pay off my family bills. All of my family bills. All of them. And I'll do it secretly because guess what they say? They say that when you win a lottery, you got to be very, very, very quiet, right? So anyway, nobody's going to know that I won the lottery. Nobody's going to know that, right? So you got to be very secret about it because everybody's going to beg you for money and then people are going to make you feel really, really, really bad when you don't give them money. And then they're going to start crying and they're going to claim, you know, the world's going to end, the sky's falling on, so you're going to feel like crap and then you want to give them all your money. Nah, don't do that. <clears throat> Another thing I heard of is like how people, churches, take advantage of people who won the lottery. Right, you give ten percent. Honestly, I want to give ten percent. I really want to give ten percent because it's like, you know, it's a house of God. You know, you give ten percent, you get more back. You know, it's not like to a point where you're like you're gonna be like absolutely like taken advantage of and all that stuff, and then give ten percent, twenty percent, thirty percent. No, you're gonna give ten percent. That's the way it's gonna be, right? If they use the money, abuse the money, well, hey, you did what you're supposed to do. I, I'm just not going to let them know if it was me. Um, So, another thing. I know you guys are like, no, you get them 10%. No, it's a lot of money. Okay. So, another thing. Of course, with the house. Of course, with the cars. But, um, I won't live, like, broke like I'm living right now. I would live, like nice and i don't care what anybody says a lot of people tell me that when they win a lottery oh they're gonna just get a nice house get a few cars and that's it no i won't do that i say like, there's just something about me that just feels like really bad like when i don't do like something that's like big and something that's beneficial and something that's helpful and something that continues or carries on for like you know what i mean it just feels like it just feels like you got money, so you like now you can like actually change things to make things better to the extreme, right? That's fifty million dollars. You know what I would do? <clears throat> I would literally try to um, I would get tons of help, but I literally try to do a few things to change the world, which is like I'm not gonna say what it is because it's a secret. Um, not um, not really a secret, but I don't really want to explain it in this video right now. Cause I'm getting tired, y'all. So um, anyway. Anyway, I don't know what else I would do. I don't know what else I would do. Because, to be honest, I don't want to be like like a lot of people where it's like, oh, they're going to spend it on uh, parties and all that stuff and drugs and all that stuff. All right, you're going to lose all your money. Or somebody's going to kill you, right? That's just the way it happens when everybody's acting like a fool, right? Or I don't want to be like um, the other people that say that, oh... I'm going to get the money, and I'm going to live decently with it. I'm going to get a nice house. I'm going to do it. it, 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 it. No, I don't want to live like that either. Like, I want to be, like, something where it's, like, my brain is, like, explodes with ideas nearly every freaking day. And it's, like, it just, 
it just seemed like to me it would be like just a waste to like not even use them or explore them in any type of way like I just can't do it that just feels like something just incredibly goes against me I can't do it um I really can't right and I know there's a market for like people like me I know there's a market for people like me and I know there's people that need jobs and I know there's you know people that actually want to be able to move up and actually do something to benefit their lives to the positive you know and it's like go on day by day by day by day and then have all that money and then don't do anything with it that's just a no no to me I can't do it I can't do it all right okay bye bye ah okay guys bye